Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to tell you how to, how to configure Wi-Fi routers by TP-Link with your smartphone and a special application. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The standard web interface of the router menu is not very comfortable to use from a mobile device, as the letters and symbols are too small, so we have to zoom in and out all the time. However, TP-Link has been thinking about their customers and finally released TP-Link Tether, a very good application for smartphones and tablet PCs to make their lives easier. You can use it to view the device information and connection settings, manage your Wi-Fi router and modify the settings. The application is available for the two most popular platforms – iOS and Android. It supports iOS from version 7 and higher and Android from version 4. In this video, I'll be using Android 8.1 for demonstration. Later in the video, we'll have a look at basic capabilities of TP-Link Tether, and I'll also show you how to quickly modify main router settings using this tool. The application supports almost all popular router models by this manufacturer. I'll illustrate its work with the example of TP-Link Archer C20. For starters, download the app from App Store or Play Market depending on your particular mobile device and install it. You can find all the links in the description below this video. How to connect to the router? To make the application see your router, you should get connected to it through Wi-Fi. If you've been using the router for some time, it means you are likely to be already connected. If you want to configure a new router, Find the standard name and password for connecting on a sticker attached to the bottom side of the device. When the application starts for the first time, you'll see a summary of its capabilities. Scroll it away and tap to start. If you are connected to a network, you'll see the router name as well as its MAC address. To get to the main screen and manage your router, enter the name and password combination. By default, they are admin and admin or use your own details if you have already modified the default information. The main screen is divided into several areas, one of them a kind of a control panel that shows information about your Wi-Fi connection and the guest network in real time. By tapping on the router symbol, you will see its name, model, firmware and hardware versions. In the Clients tab, the application shows all devices connected to this network, their connection types and IP addresses. By tapping on one of the connected devices, you can also learn its MAC address and block the device if you want. This function can be useful if an unwanted stranger connects to a network somehow. And you can also change the client icon and name. Now a short joke. Wikipedia. I know everything. Facebook. I know everyone. Google, I have everything. Internet, you are nothing without me. Electricity, uh-huh, keep talking, guys. Go to the next tab, Tools, and it has much more options than the previous two. Wireless contains only the most essential Wi-Fi network settings. You can turn wireless networks on or off, change the network name, password and security options. If you have guest network enabled, it will also be shown here. Internet connection is one of the most important sections which is used when configuring the router for the first time or switching to another Internet provider. If your provider doesn't support automatically assigned addresses or uses PPTP connections, you can use this function to configure settings according to your provider's data. Choose connection type and enter details, specify username and password, IP address, and so on. Parental controls let you configure a list of supervised devices, specify permitted websites and set up access schedule. Network diagnostics lets you check your connection to the router and to the Internet. 
Guess Network allows setting up local access to the Internet for your guests, with the password protection or without it. Share password. The name speaks for itself. You can view the password to the network or get a QR code to access it. In the last line, System, you can modify administrator's account data or specify a new name and password, as well as reboot the router or reset it to factory settings. Summing up, I can say, although TP-Link Tether tool includes only a few functions, it does provide access to all essential router settings. Its simple interface will never confuse you, unlike the standard administrator's menu that opens in a browser. This application gives a good start for quick router setup, but advanced users looking for more detailed settings will have to use the web interface anyway. To enter the web interface from a smartphone, connect to your Wi-Fi network, specify the router's address, administrator's login, and password. There is a detailed guide on setting up a router in another video by our channel. Check the link in the description. And that is all for now. I hope you find this video useful. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.